I have this hammock for like almost three years now. I can't believe this is like the first time I've actually set it up and used it. All right, as you can see, we're all packed up. Uh, it's been a fun little overnight. Sorry, I didn't take you on all of it, mainly because, like I said, it got pretty noisy yesterday, and it, it was just too many people all around to, to do much filming. Uh, but still had fun. Um, this pack is heavy, and I want to get going so I can go home and eat pizza. <laughs> So there are quite a few river crossings on this hike and I uh, thought this would be a perfect opportunity to go over how to cross a river while wearing a big backpack. So we're going to film it and uh, talk about it in the very near future. We've made it to the river crossing. Um, your first step is to assess upstream and downstream to see if there's a, a safer route than the one provided. Um, we might be able to scramble across rocks and things like that on, on the downstream side, uh, but that has a, a risk factor to it. Rocks could be slippery or uneven. Um, if you were to wade across, the main thing you want to do is face upstream. You want to face upstream, if you can find a large branch or some kind of walking stick, you want to put that in front of you and walk almost like a tripod. Always unclip your backpack. Um, the sternum strap and the hip belt. The last thing you want to do is, is slip and be attached to your backpack. So yes, it'll be heavy for a little bit, but for safety reasons, always unattach the clips on your sternum strap and hip belt. Um, if you have water shoes or wading shoes, wear those. We don't. So it's either scrambling across rocks or going barefoot. I found a way across the river. I'm actually in the center of the river right now. Um, I found a way across on the rocks, so that's what we're going to do instead. Um, if your rock is submerged in the water, be careful. That's where they're most likely to be slippery and you could lose your footing. But you see, I've got my sternum strap and hip belt unattached. We're going to try to make our way across nice and slow. All right, we made it across. Uh, I didn't film because it was just too dangerous, but uh, hopefully those pointers about river crossing help out if you ever run into a situation where you have to cross a river. Uh, just be safe. Granite rocks, boulders, and things like that, they can be really slippery when they're wet. Plus, lots of algae grows. Um, on, uh, on rocks and things like that, so just be safe um, and don't do anything dumb. But we made it, yes. taking it very slow, very slow. Each step was very careful and controlled. So I'm gonna keep going and. Huh? I can't really go any faster. Well, we're gonna head out. We still probably got another mile and a half. Wow, you can't even see me. Ugh. We'll probably still have another mile and a half or so before we make it to the car. Yeah, but that was our last river crossing, so that's good. Smooth sailing from here. I think it's pretty level. We're down in the bottom of the valley, and uh, that's just a long drive home. Huh. Been at this for about four hours now, and my knees are in pain. I uh, hurt them a while back and just never quite recovered and right now they're making themselves known, that's for sure. 
So I'm gonna end this video here so you don't see me cry. Um, we're probably pretty close to the end anyway. It's, it's getting to where we're more level at the bottom of the valley. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate comments. If you enjoyed the video or like to see more of me injure myself in the backcountry. If you guys come out to Idaho, any of you guys, subscribers, friends, let me know. Let them meet up and do a, an outing or something. I don't know how these things work. Ooh, it's so bright. All right, in any case, I'm rambling because I'm tired. I'm gonna go home and recover as much as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Ah, there's something in my ear.